The shooting stars you see in the night sky aren't really shooting stars. What you're seeing are tiny space rocks entering the Earth's atmosphere. Sometimes you can see a group of meteors burning in the atmosphere. That's called a meteor shower. Most of these are fragments of other, larger cosmic bodies that have been broken. Some come from comets, others from asteroids, and some even from our own moon, and other planets as well. The difference between asteroids and comets is that asteroids are rocky and comets icy. Both of them are leftovers from the formation of the solar system. Asteroids come primarily from a region between Mars and Jupiter known as the asteroid belt. Comets, on the other hand, orbit much farther away from the Sun. These icy objects have two sources, long-period comets, those that take more than 200 years to complete an orbit around the Sun, originate from the Oort Cloud, a spherical cloud of icy objects that shields the whole solar system at distances ranging from 2,000 to 200,000 AU astronomical units. One AU is the distance from the Sun to the Earth. And then we have the short-period comets, which take less than 200 years to complete an orbit around the Sun. These comets originate from the Kuiper Belt, a donut-shaped region of icy objects around the Sun, extending just beyond the orbit of Neptune from about 30 to 55 AU. But back to the topic, there's a difference between meteors, meteoroids, and meteorites. First, meteoroids are space rocks that range in size from dust grains to small asteroids. They're considered meteoroids only when they're in space. The moment they enter the Earth's atmosphere or the atmosphere of another planet, they become meteors. These are what we call shooting stars. Most meteors are smaller than a grain of sand. Sometimes these meteors can appear brighter than Venus, the brightest planet in our night sky. We call these fireballs. Data suggests about 48.5 tons of meteors burn up in the atmosphere each day. And finally, when a meteoroid survives the wrath of our atmosphere and makes it to the ground, it's called a meteorite. Meteorites are basically the survivors. In a dark sky, you can see several meteors per hour on any given night. As for meteor showers, they occur annually or at regular intervals as the Earth passes through the trail of dusty debris left by a comet or, rarely, an asteroid. Most of the time, we give names to meteor showers, such as the Perseids. They're usually named after a star or a constellation that is close to where the meteors appear to originate in the sky. The Perseids peak around August 12th every year, and they originate from the comet Swift-Tuttle, which swings by the sun every 135 years. Don't forget to watch the video on the right and subscribe. Thanks for being part of Cosmonology.